Hey guys, sorry to leave you sitting around, but with the release of the new seasons, I've been slightly preoccupied. Let's get back to it. That's right, we're going to carry on with tutorial for the Tall Tale to the Cursed Rogue, including the journal locations. First of all, you need to go to Plunder Outpost, speak to Madame Olivia of the Order of Souls, and get the Tall Tale. Say hi to some friendly pirates. Surprised they didn't sink me, there was two of them. Anyway, journals at first. Journal 1 is on Sharp Bay Cove. You need to head to the south of the island and you will see this tunnel here. Next to which is a damaged rowboat. Head over to the rowboat and you will find the journal there. And give yourself a celebratory crab dab and we'll move on to the second journal surrounded by falls journal number two can be found on discovery ridge here you're looking for another damaged rowboat this time is on the northeast coast You will find it, it's next to a rock and there is a skeleton next to it, just read it. That's surrounded by falls done. Number three, at last, a clue. This can be found on Kraken's Fall. You are looking for a pile of skulls. This took me a while to find, but it is in the southeast and it is around the area that the NPC is in is across the water from the NPC I gave myself a little crab dab just because it took me so long to find it moving on to number four Wanderer's Refuge and we are closing in you need the hilltop ruins for this one fairly straightforward get to the hill get to the top of it Find the ruin and you'll find it wedged in between the wood and the wall here. Give it a little read, no need for a crab dab, it's quite easy to find this one. That's number four, nearly there. Number five defeated is on Crook's Hollow and it's in the cave by the docks. You've probably been here many times. Brace yourself for cannon fire. Anyway, this is the cave you are looking for. And you are looking for what would be called the Forgotten Prisoner on many of your riddle maps. Anyway, the book is now here. Give yourself a celebratory crab dab. You have just got the commendation for finding all five journals. Now we found all five journals, we need to go and find Briggsy. So we shall start off with the Skeleton Key. There are six variations of this page on the Tall Tale book. I'm not going to sit here and bore you with all six of them, but this is what they look like, and this is where they are. You may pause now if you wish to measure up your book. Once you've discovered which island you need to be at, you will find three skeletons having a little chat. What you need to do is kill the captain. Once the captain is down, they will drop the skeleton key. Pick it up, head to your boat, and let's go and find that chest. 
once again there are six possible locations for the chest these are your pages these are your locations I got a bit generous and also gave you the coordinates because I'm nice like that you can pause here now if you want just to line up your book with the corresponding page Once you found your corresponding island, again you will find skeletons sat around. Once again, just kill the captain. Dismissing any other skellies that may spawn while you're fighting. Once you've killed this captain, you will need to dig for the chest. The book will show you the location. But it will be in the vicinity of where you found them. Once you've found the chest, I usually take the key with me because too often now I've done this and the key has been left on the ship and I've gone back to no ship because some passers-by have sunk it. Head back to Plunder Outpost and cash in all three items. Here you'll get a little cutscene of Olivia doing some voodoo. She will give you a enchanted compass. The enchanted compass will point you in the direction of Brigthy. Just follow the compass. She can be found on any of these islands. Like I say, if you just follow the compass, again, you will find her sat around talking. Again, it's just a battle. She does disappear and reappear in various locations, but she doesn't go far, so you'll be easily able to catch up with her. Once defeated, she will drop her skull. Nearly at some meg meat there. Yes, once she eventually dies, just pick up her skull and you will get the notification at the bottom that you have discovered it and you need to return it to plunder. But we go to plunder and just hand over the skull. You will get a closing speech from Madame Olivia. You don't have to stay and listen to it if you don't want to. You can carry on cashing any treasures in that you would have caught on the way. As you can see, I do get bored and just go and start cashing in my meg kill. But at some point she will stop talking and you will get the notification that the voyage, or tall tale should I say, has been completed. That's a, a GG. Thanks for watching. Now get out there, get that tall tale. you got to do it five times, remember.